just fit it new there. The Greenland ice sheet, along with the uh, ice sheet in Antarctica, is one of the biggest potential contributors to a, a rise in sea levels in the coming uh, decades and centuries. And one of the uh, most amazing things that's happened in uh, Greenland, certainly in the last few years, is that glaciers like this one here, Helheim Glacier, have uh, accelerated their flow speed. And that's important because um, they're like conveyor belts that move mass out of the middle of the ice sheet and take it down to the fjord behind us, the ocean behind us. And when they get to the end, they discharge icebergs into the ocean and that ice dis, um, displaces seawater, which causes sea level rise, just the same, in the same way that melting ice and turning it into liquid water causes a sea level rise. So, Uh, the Greenland ice sheet contains about seven meters of uh, sea level equivalent. In the other words, if you were to completely get rid of the Greenland ice sheet and put all the ice that's uh, frozen on the land surface as liquid water into the ocean, sea levels around the world would be about seven meters higher than they are today. Now, scientists like me don't foresee a complete collapse of the ice sheet, in, certainly in our lifetimes, and probably not for a few centuries. Um, so that, sea that seven meter sea level rise scenario is not something we can expect um, anytime soon. But let's just say that a small part of the ice sheet uh, were to collapse and we got uh, a rise of uh, sea level in, of one meter. That would have enormous implications for societies around the world, especially societies clustered near the, uh, near the coasts.